trip trap tripping. The heat rose off the sidewalks and crept down the walls. It wound down to the basement and clung with sticky fingers to Clef Troll's skin. He grimaced as he tightened the pipe on his sink. Through the pipe came a constant, syncopated rhythm. Occasionally, the rat-a-tat-tat would pause long enough for him to think that it was over, but then the tapping would begin again. He crawled out from under the sink and poked his head into the front room. The tapping was louder there. He glared at the ceiling. Damn it all! He thought he'd left that behind with the stupid goats and the bridge. <laughs> Little Molly Grufke focused on the music and started her routine again. Shuffle ball step, shuffle ball step, change weight, change weight, shuffle ball step. She bit her lip as the music modulated into the next section her big sister, Billy, had taught her. The bridge and the music was always the hardest, and she just knew she'd never, ever get it right. When their mom was home, she counted out the beats, and that helped. As Molly tapped her tiny feet into the bridge, she imagined her mom counting. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Bam, bam, bam! Someone pounded on the door and broke her rhythm. Molly sighed and trotted to the door, her tap shoes trip-trap tripping across the floor. She dragged over a chair to stand on and looked through the peephole. In the fisheye lens was the largest, hairiest man she had ever seen. Clef pounded on the, troll, on the door again. Hey, open up in there! A tiny girl's voice lisped. Who's there? Knock it off, kid! Clef growled at the door and raised the wrench he still had in his hand. Open up! I can't. I'm too little to let anyone in. Come back later when my big sister is home. He'd heard that before. <laughs> Clenching his jaw, he ground his teeth slowly. Fine, but leave off the tap dancing. But I have to go over the bridge again. He slammed the wrench into the door. No bridges or I'll kill you! <laughs> <laughs> Clef settled back in his lazy boy with a cold one and a bag of chips. Holding the beer in one hand and the remote in the other, he surfed through the multitude of channels. This beat the hell out of living under the bridge. The tapping started again. The same syncopated rhythm as before, but louder and heavier. And he'd thought the goats were bad. Clef slammed the beer on the coffee table and levered the lazy boy upright. He crashed into the hall and pounded up the stairs to the apartment door above his and hammered on the door. I told you to knock it off. The tapping stopped instantly, and then two pairs of feet trip trap tripped to the door. Each click bore into his ears like a knife. A teenage girl's voice said, Who's there? I live in the apartment, in the basement, and you are making me crazy. I'm sorry. She didn't sound sorry. I didn't know anyone lived down there. I told the kid who was prancing around earlier. What is she, too retarded to tell you? He tried the knob, but the door was locked as tight as a dragon's mouse and a t mouth and a tasty piece of prince. <laughs> the girl said, You frightened her. Big deal! Bam! The door leapt in its frame. Clef grinned. That was more like it. Now stop your tapping or I'll be back up here to knock some sense into you. You can't threaten us. I ain't threatening, you little bitch. <laughs> Just wait till my mother comes home. Like I care. He hit the door again and tramped back downstairs. Unless she had horns, he was more than a match for any snot-nosed kid's mother. The ceiling in Clef's apartment rattled and shook with heavy footfalls. Plaster dust rained down as if a bomb had gone off howling with inarticulate rage. <laughs> <laughs> he ran up the stairs two at a time. Clef, Clef slammed his fist against the door and roared, Will you knock it off? The hammering footfalls stopped and the door flew open. A tall, blonde woman faced him. Behind her, two girls stared at him. The woman's pale face was flushed. Yes? Is there a problem? What's the matter with you? I told your kids to stop dan tap dancing. They did. Well, what the hell are you still doing it for? 
I wasn't tap dancing. This is tap. With the sturdy boots on her feet, she beat out the syncopated rhythm which had plagued him all day. After you so politely told them to stop, I didn't want to trouble you with tap anymore. I was Irish step dancing. <laughs> like this. <laughs> with her back ramrod straight and her fists clinched by her side, she slammed her feet against the floor. I don't care what it's called. Stop your racket or I'll make you stop. Really? Glaring at him, she began to tap her feet on the floor. This is called a flamenco. <laughs> her boots took tiny steps, barely rising against the battered hardwood floor before stamping down again. Are you crazy? You made my daughter cry. <laughs> she tossed her head as her feet, as her hips swayed with the seductive, angry rhythm. Apologize to her. Cluff's mouth hung open. Look, lady, your little brat can kiss my ass before I apologize. Stamp, stamp. Did you know I won a dance marathon last year? <laughs> the woman's feet shifted to a faster rhythm. I can dance all night. Knock it off. I danced for 29 hours. <laughs> I said knock it off, bitch. Make me. Clef put one foot over her threshold. The woman's weight shifted, and her booted foot planted itself in his stomach. Clef grunted and folded over the pain. She kept dancing. <laughs> Growling, he straightened and lunged into the apartment. Her legs flashed again, keeping time on his chin and nose. Clef staggered back from her, expecting her to sprout horns. <laughs> Blood coursed down his face. Her feet tapped across the floor. Apologize to her. Clef's brain shut down in a curtain of red rage, and he picked up a chair next to the door, raising it over his head. Blinding pain lanced through his foot. He looked down as the littlest kid slammed her metal toe into his shin. He pulled his fist back, and an explosion spread through his side. The woman's feet hammered into him, driving him back, while she maintained that same maddening percussive rhythm. He tripped and fell into the hall. And that is called Taekwondo. <laughs> <laughs> she stood over him. The light behind her head haloed her hair and turned her into an avenging angel. You lay a hand on my daughters, you so much as look at them, and I'll make you wish you've never been born. Am I clear? He licked his lips, tasting the blood from his nose. Yeah. Yes, what? Yes, ma'am. She turned her head and held out her hand. Molly, come here. Holding the kid's hand, she turned and looked back at him. What else? <laughs> I'm sorry, he muttered. I didn't hear that. <laughs> I said I'm sorry. Good, she slammed the door. Moments later, the sound of tapping began again. Clef dragged himself back downstairs and started typing a want ad. Need apartment. No goats. No sunlight. No tap dancers. <laughs> <laughs>